Hi, my name's Rich Harrington. I'm the publisher of PhotoFocus, and I'm excited that I got one of the brand new GoPro Hero 5 Blacks in my hands. Now, I'm about to head out and shoot, but I like to do an unboxing video for you quickly. I think it's pretty important to not miss anything that's inside, and there are some changes to what comes with your GoPro. So let's go ahead and get this open, and I'll show you what's included. First up, I recommend taking something like an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors so you can easily cut through any of the tape that's on the box. That way you don't rip it all up. We'll go ahead and remove this here and you'll see across the bottom that we have to remove some extra materials here. In this case, there's a pull tab. So I'll grab that and pull to release. Now let's go ahead, take that X-Acto knife and just free up all the sides. Sometimes you'll see that there's glue or adhesive along the edges. Be careful that you don't cut yourself. Good. Let's free it on this other side as well. There's some glue and adhesive. Again, be careful. And that should come off pretty straightforward. Now, save this part and set it to the side so you can easily capture any of the small pieces inside. Now, let's take the camera here and remove this. You see, once we've freed the sides there and the bottom, the whole thing should lift out. Now, to start, I'm going to remove the camera. To do this is a little bit different than in the past. Depending upon the age of your GoPro, you might not be used to this little rubber piece here. What you need to do is lift up this lock here, which prevents the buckle from moving. Once that piece is lifted, you can easily squeeze here and gently push forward. Keep a hand on the front of the camera so it doesn't go flying. And just slide that off and you can set that to the side. We'll deal with this in just a second. Now, inside this is a bunch of useful pieces. I like to actually keep this top lid, so you can peel that off and set that to the side and use that as a stand if you ever need it, like a desktop stand. Let's go ahead and open up the box of goodies. You'll see a tab on the side here that opens, and inside is a lot of additional pieces. First up, you have your getting started guide. Now the quick start guide is very useful. It has a lot of information that you're going to want to look through. Remember though, there are much more detailed resources available. For example, you can go online to the GoPro website and download a complete user's manual. And if you're a member of lynda.com or LinkedIn Learning, you could check out this full length course that we're going to be recording shortly that's going to walk you through how to get the most from the GoPro Hero 5. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Slide these to the side and you'll see a couple different things. The getting started book, information about GoPro Plus. This is actually GoPro's new monthly service. Now, the GoPro has the ability to upload to the cloud. You're gonna pay $5 a month for that ability, but it gives you the option to essentially put your clips online and store them, which is really quite cool. It's gonna run you $5 a month and you get some discounts on accessories and other things, but keep this card because you might wanna check that out. For example, I found when ordering accessories, even signing up for the free trial was useful. It let me save money on those updates. Now, we have, of course, GoPro stickers. What is a GoPro camera without some GoPro stickers? They're different than in the past. And we have our general important safety information, which is going to walk you through some of the key things you need to know about the device. Now, this is a very dry read but it's gonna walk you through what you need to know about the batteries and lithium ion and the signals that it puts out. In other words, the lawyers made them write this book. So if you're looking for something to put you to sleep, go ahead and read it, but chances are the activities you're gonna do with the GoPro are more dangerous than what the GoPro needs to warn you about. All right, we'll set that aside and let's keep lifting up. Take the tab here and gently pull and inside are a bunch of goodies. Now, it's important to note that a lot of things have changed. For example, the USB cord. Well, things are completely different. The mini connector and the micro connectors that you might have used in the past have been replaced. Now we have the new USB-C option. 
So, of course, on the one end is a standard plug. Whether your computer uses USB 1, 2, or 3, this is going to work. But the end that goes into the camera for charging and firmware updates and data transfer, that's USB-C. This means that you might not have as many of these cables lying around your office or your house, so be careful not to lose this. Any USB-C cable will work, but you probably don't have that many of them. I'll put that in the container here so it's easy to keep track. We have some buckles. Now, we have two types to start. We have a buckle that has a curved surface here. You can see that what we have is a gentle arc, and this is well suited for putting on things like a helmet. We also have one with a large flat surface. This is quite useful for things like a dashboard or mounting on other pieces of equipment, like maybe the deck of a boat or other surfaces where it's important and you want to attach a camera. One critical thing to remember with both of these is you want to allow for a full 24 hours of drying time. Otherwise, they can vibrate and shake and you've lost a camera. We also have new GoPro batteries and these batteries have been updated. So you'll see here that it comes with one battery with your camera. Chances are you're going to need more. So make sure you explore those options. I did find when I went to order these on GoPro's website that we've seen a lot of changes in regulations. I had to do a single order per battery. I was unable to order multiple batteries in one shipment. Rather, I had to place an additional two orders to order two batteries. So keep that in mind. We'll set that in there. And at the bottom here, we can open up and you see all gone. So just make sure you give a good look through you can now get rid of the general packaging material. You shouldn't need that. But let's switch our attention to the camera itself. Now the camera is a bit different. The cases have completely changed. The GoPro is now actually waterproof on its own. Some features I'll explore more in our training. But if we open this up, we have our simple latch here on top. It is a single latch that pops forward and lifts up. This is gonna allow you to take the back door down and the camera should slide out of the frame. Just apply gentle pressure and take it to the back, making sure that you catch that. You'll notice that the frame is pretty straightforward. Chances are you're gonna to wanna to pick up a spare frame, but it's changed from the past. Now what happens is that we have a disclosed area here for accessing some of the controls on the side, the ability here to toggle through the menus. We have another button here for tagging takes and a cutout on top. Across the board though, the front and back are open. Gone by default is the waterproof case. Now you can order that and if you're gonna do things like scuba diving, you're gonna want the extra protection, but the GoPro camera itself is now waterproof on its own. As such, it's a little bit trickier to get the camera open. You can't just slide things open here. You've got a button that you have to push and then slide to release. Now, before you power the camera on or use it, make sure you peel this sticker off. This is just there so when people look at this on the shelf, they get an idea that it's an LCD display. The touchback display is now integrated into the camera and the GoPro Hero 5 is only available with this integrated display. This is a sticker, so just carefully find the edge and gently peel and remove. All right, that's in great shape. That is everything that's in your GoPro. To recap, you should have a camera, a frame, a plate that can actually be used as a small tripod base, two mounting plates, one battery, and a USB-C cord. Additionally, on the paper side, you should end up with a sheet of GoPro stickers, a flyer about the Plus program that helps you back up your GoPro footage on the go, as well as get access to apps and discounts on products, and a getting started guide and a guide filled with some legal disclaimers about the camera itself that you're probably never gonna read. All right, that's what's in the GoPro box. I do have a full length training title that's in development now. It'll be coming out shortly on both lynda.com and LinkedIn Learning, so you'll be able to check that out. And of course, I'll be posting some reviews and extra tutorials here on photofocus.com.